Since we've covered the character formatting, we are now going to look at paragraph formatting located on the Properties panel. Note you can work with two types of content within the paragraph formatting. If you select the text box with your selection tool, you can format that as an object. If you select with the type tool, you are formatting paragraphs of text. The first thing you can format is paragraph justification. This allows you to align paragraphs to the left, to the center, to the right, as justified. And if you mouse over each one, they give you a description of what each formatting does. Below that, you have indents. Again, mousing over gives you a description. So notice this is almost a full pica indented. If we increased that, that is the look we get. Let's look at this in some text we haven't styled yet. So if we wanted to apply paragraph indenting, we would give this a first line left indent. And notice how those just first paragraph, first lines indented, and then drop caps right below it. So with drop caps, we can set how many lines we want those to drop and how many letters we want to drop as well. Notice it's dropping everything since we have everything selected. If we come back here and just selected our first paragraph, would have that drop cap. Next, and notice that I switched to my selection tool, you can decide to either shade your paragraphs or create a border around that text box. Note this is specific to the text, not the text box. So it aligns specifically with that text, even if our text box is larger. Again, switching back to our type tool, I can choose to hyphenate or uncheck hyphenate. That's usually a nice option when you're dealing with small batches of text or your resume. Switching back to our selection tool again, you can experiment with aligning to your baseline grid. Notice how that's pulling that text out. There's only certain occasions that you want to do that usually not aligning to the baseline looks a lot better. Below that you have aligning options. So you can choose to align two objects together or you can get more options and align them or space them out based on the page. Below that you have your text frame. Remember your text frame needs to follow your document grid. Clicking options brings up text frame options. A feature in here to note is inset spacing. So if you have a border, it will move the text off that border. In order to work with bullets and numbering, you need to be on your type tool clicked inside a text box. Simply selecting the icons for either bulleted or numeral list will apply that style. To apply it to everything, you need to select everything in that text box. You can make changes to these bullets by selecting options. This dialog box starts with default bullets and you can add new ones. So click Add, and I'm going to search for Zap Dingbats. And I'm going to click the style of bullet I want, and then Add. Notice that is now available in my list of bullets. And I can hit OK and apply that style. So the Properties panel allows you to edit paragraph formatting quickly, but there may be other features you want to change. Many of these options are under Window, Type, 
and paragraph. While this looks similar to the properties panel, if you use the drop down menu, you have more options. One of the options I like in here is span columns. Let's see what that looks like. So that is different ways you can format your paragraphs.